I thought I would actually spend a couple of minutes today talking about uh, converting your RSP to a riff. I know it sounds fairly simple, but we get a lot of questions about it. I, it's, it surprises me, uh, and it's a reminder that financial literacy here in Canada isn't great. You know, we're all taught at a young age to make an RSP contribution, okay? Make an RSP contribution and get a refund. Uh, that and paying down a mortgage, those are the two things that big banks teach us when we're young. Well, what happens, you know, after all these years where you put money into your RSP, what happens when you have to convert it to a RIF? And that's what we're going to unpack today. So when you convert an RSP, which is a savings plan, as we all know, put money in, get a tax deduction. Well, when we actually convert it to a RIF, what we simply do is we have to simply roll it into a RIF, okay, an income fund, which is meant to take money out. So what does that look like? So at age 71, okay, Canadians are forced to open up a RIF account. So at your financial institution, you, you likely have an RSP. So what you do is you open up a RIF, okay? And by the end of the year that you turn 71, you have to roll your RSP into the RIF. Now, what does that look like from a tax point of view? Well, first of all, it's a non-taxable event. What I mean by that is it rolls over from the RSP to the RIF tax-free, okay? And once it's in the RIF, the very next year, the government requires you to take money out. So I'm going to get into that in one second. The second point I want to make is what can you invest in in the RIF? A lot of people think that you have to make changes to your portfolio when you move from an RSP to a RIF. That's not true. You can actually hold the same investments or securities that you hold in an RSP in a RIF account. So you simply just move everything in the RSP over to the RIF. Now, about that sticky kind of withdrawal that you have to do, the government mandates uh, individuals that have a RIF, they mandate that they take out what's called a RIF minimum. And how they calculate that is based on your age. So some people will say, hey, do I have to be 71 to convert an RSP to the RIF? The answer is no. You can have a RIF at 50, 55, 60, or what have you. So as an example, I'm gonna give you um, a numbers here. If somebody had a $100,000 RSP, that converted into a RIF, that year, let's say they were 55. The following year at 55, they would have to take out a percentage called the RIF minimum of a 2.86%, so to a roughly $2,800. Now at 71 or 72, when you have to convert it, that percentage is greater, it goes up each and every year. So at 72, you have to take out 5.4% as a minimum, which is $5,400. So again, some people think that to take everything out, it's just simply a portion. And every year thereafter, that percentage goes up incrementally, okay? So again, a couple of things here. So RSP has to convert to a RIF at age 71, it's mandated. Then a RIF minimum or a minimum amount has to be taken out thereafter, okay? And then that minimum amount, that is taxable. At the time that you take it out, there's likely not any tax withheld because it's the minimum, but you, when you file your taxes the following year, that is when you'll pay the tax on that, okay? So again, a couple of just higher um, overview of an RSP to a RIF. Um, again, non-taxable event. You can hold the same types of securities in an RSP and a RIF, and you're required to take out a minimum amount the uh, year after you convert it to a RIF. Uh, do you have any questions or comments? Please let us know. We'd be happy to answer them. For now, have a great day.